everybody. Welcome to the 510 TV. Uh, this is Spencer. Um, in case you can't tell, there's kind of a theme going on. Got a Halo over here, over here. Got a Halo 4 hoodie with UNSC logo on the back. And today, I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing a Halo Loot Crate Legendary Box unboxing. So, uh, some of you may know the normal size of the of the loot crates. Well, this one's a little bigger than normal. And uh, before I open it, I just want to go a little over a little bit of my history with Halo. Um, I've been playing it since the first one came out. Mm, not right when it came out, but probably about a year after it came out. Uh, and I've enjoyed all of them since Halo Wars. It's kind of a hit and miss for me, but still pretty fun. Um, Halo 2 specifically would probably be my favorite so far. Uh, and, and the level that I like in that one the most would have to be the level that you're heading into New Mombasa, I believe. Um, I, I just really love driving over that bridge and destroying the Scarab using the tank as long as you can, just an awesome level all over, and dual wielding in that game was an absolutely fantastic feature, I don't know why they ever removed it, I think it was a perfect thing to really set Halo apart from other games that didn't really let you do that as much, but anyways, so, I'm going to go ahead and get into the box, I'm going to push this one out of the way, and... So, no. And first I have to say, always love the art on the inside of this, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's actually, like, embossed stuff on here, and that's not part of the box right there. That's, uh, that's actually where it was mailed, and it kind of got roughed up. It's kind of got that on a few different corners, because it didn't come in its own box. This is how it shipped. It was just like this. Uh, the shipping label is actually on the bottom of this box, so uh, if you ever get a legendary crate, uh, be forewarned, your box may not be in the best of conditions when you actually get it. But still, really like the box, like the inside art, I believe that's the Pillar of Autumn uh, floating above the map for Sand Trap and Halo 3. Um, but anyways, so here's the little booklet that tells you everything they got inside of it. Um, it's got a, an excerpt from a new upcoming story, uh, some concept art, an interview with the person that wrote the uh, book that the excerpt is from, and then uh, tells you what's in the box and a little bit about the community. Um, I'm not really going to read through this, uh, but I was just letting you guys know what's in it in case you were wondering. Okay, first thing in here is a UNSC classified document and it's even got the little string back here around the two little circles to hold it closed so we'll go ahead and open that up and yes that is everything that's in there and this is a uh, Spartan 5 induction letter I do believe um, I'm not gonna read it off cuz it'll take a little bit of time and this is pretty cool it is a it's kind of like a medical chart it'd be the type that uh, you would put up to a uh, light uh, light wall or whatever it's called in a doctor's office to kind of shine through and I can actually kind of do that you can see it's sort of translucent it is actually um, some sort of plastic. Uh, I don't know how well you guys will be able to read it, but I'll go ahead and hold that up for you too if you want to read it. So, but anyways, that was what was in there. Uh, these are pretty cool. This would be something that you might want to frame because it's just it's something that you probably wouldn't be able to find anywhere else. You may just want to frame all of them. I may end up doing that. Um, I don't know, kind of limited on wall space, so we'll have to see, but still really, really cool. 
So we'll go ahead and put those back in there. And we'll tie that back up, at least for now. Okay. Oh, and that's, that's all that is. Okay, and the next thing is in Halo 5 there's these little dolls in Forge mode that you can use to interact with or just decorate whatever. I got the Master Chief one here and it's a little uh, keychain thing. I mean I wouldn't put this on the keychain because it would be a little hard to get in out of your pocket. Um, but just it's, it's a little cool doll thing. Stuffed toy. Plushy. I kind of like it. So it also on my shelf with uh, my Deadpool one because I have one that's very similar to this. So he'll sit right next to it. And actually I just set him right there. Um, these, this was the thing that was guaranteed in the box is these figures here. Um, so it's supposed to be a screenshot figure. Um, and it's uh, it's got a stand on the bottom that there's other ones of these that you can get in later loot boxes that you can put them together and you can put them in different orders or you can switch out the figures on different bases to kind of make your own little battle thing going on but we'll go ahead and take that out and put it together so uh, the platform is just behind these two little guys and there's no instructions on how to put it together because it's pretty self-explanatory um, you've got this little base with two little holes right here and they've got pegs on their feet that you're just gonna put into those holes. It's a little tough but shouldn't be too hard. I just wouldn't recommend uh, I wouldn't recommend while you're putting it on there like pushing on the head because you might bend the leg. I would recommend just pushing on the foot itself to get it on there and you know that's what it looks like when you get it together you know that's pretty cool and they don't have to go uh, on the side that I have them on that's just how I put them on you can put them on the other way if you want they have the same peg on their feet so it would fit you it would fit either way but uh you know just something something cool it's it's a, it's a nice little decoration if you really like Halo and you, you like this sort of nerdy type stuff, which I really do. Um, and it is the same figure, both of these. I mean, they're exactly the same, they're just painted differently. So, you know, I mean, it, it's nothing it's nothing super out there. You know, this, this could fit in with your other Halo stuff, if you have other Halo stuff. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna set these over there and I'll, actually I'll set that there. Put him off to the There we go. Set them like that. Okay. And in that letter, I've read it already. Um, I have been inducted, or so the letter says, I've been inducted into a uh, fire team for Halo, and it is uh, it is the Spartan 4 Fire Team Apollo. And this is the insignia for that. This is a pin. Like, it's a, it's a pin that you can actually hook on your shirt, whatever. Um... So that's cool, and I believe this is brass, it looks to be. Yeah, I think this is brass. Um, but it's, it's got a nice finish, it's really, really well made. It's it's high detail, I don't know if you can tell, but it's... I, I would say this one was probably like... Real, a really good machine made pen because it's just it looks really really nice looks like it was really well done I wouldn't say it's a cheap thing if you bought this by itself I couldn't see getting it for any cheap, cheaper than 10 in any store just a really nice pen um, and I like the fact that it's not collared because that just makes it look a little more sleek more professional since it would be UNSC thing and US and UNSC is military so that kind of makes sense um, but yeah, I really, really like that. It's a nice little pen, especially if you collect pens or anything. And uh, here we go. So this, this is pretty cool. This is a hoodie for the Spartan program. So it's got your Spartan logo on there. 
And then on the arm, which I'll actually just go, well, hold on. I'll take this one off because I don't want to get too warm. It's really soft. Feels really nice. Um, it's not super heavy. It breathes. It's kind of loose, which I like. Um, it's got this pocket down here. Um, but what I was wanting to show you guys is over here on the arm, it says Fire Team Apollo, and it has the Fire Team Apollo insignia here again, which is the same thing that's on this pin. So that's really that's really cool. This is this is a nice hoodie. It's it's doesn't look like something that you just go to Walmart and buy or anything. It looks like something that you ordered specifically. It's really nice. It's really comfortable. I mean, it's, it's not itchy at all. It's not very thick, so I wouldn't say like super cold weather. Maybe towards the beginning of fall, end of spring type weather. Um, it's got a hood, which actually goes beyond your face, which I really like. I don't like the ones that stop right above your face. So this, this is a really good hood as far as I'm concerned. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice hoodie, so I like that. I'm probably going to wear it quite a bit. Hopefully I don't ruin it. And then there's one last thing in here, which is really cool. Uh, it's, I wish it was a little bit larger, but it's, it is a UNSC satchel. And, uh, it's just got one strap, so you can just throw it over like that. And, uh, you know, it's got an adjustable strap. I'm going to loosen this a little bit because it feels kind of tight. There we go. So, and it's just going to hang like that. So it's just, well, I'll tighten it up a little bit. Make sure it stays in place there. But, uh, yeah, just a nice little bag, you know. Maybe if, uh... If you didn't want to keep the box, but you want to keep everything in good condition, you could probably put it in this bag. Um, I would, again, it's kind of small. You can't really carry a whole lot on it. Uh, it looks like there's some slots on each side that you can maybe put some water bottles in. Uh, you got a keychain holder here. I uh, got a couple others up here. Um, you got one down here. So you, oh, that's interesting. You can actually, uh, you can actually change which side your strap's on. So, you know, if you don't want it hanging that way, you want it hanging the other way, and you want to put it on, like, this instead, you can do that too. Um, but, I'm going to look at this a little bit. So it's got a zipper here for a pocket on the front here. Um, it's got this zipper here for this pouch. Uh, and then it's got one main zipper on the top here, which is an, oh, that's cool. It has a knife, it has another little pouch inside, so you could probably keep like your wallet or whatever in there. Um, it's, it's, it's a thin plastic pouch, so I mean, I wouldn't put anything heavy in it, it might rip through. Um, you've also got this here. I'm not, oh, because it's got another little pouch in the back. So for being as small as it is, it's actually quite roomy. There's a lot of places to put stuff on here. Um, but yeah, you can, so you can put like probably a notebook or something down there. You know, so, something small. It's not quite big enough to like hold a laptop or anything. Um, but just just something. And then you've also got a... Uh, hmm. That may also be for like a water bottle or something. Put something through there. Um, but it's it's got a Velcro strap going, going through there. And it's got a Velcro strap here. Um, it's also got these uh, tensioner wires or whatever. Um, I don't know why specifically you would need those. I mean, maybe that's because you put a water bottle through there and then you tighten this down on top of it, maybe? I'm not really sure. Um, but there's another zipper on the back side of that. Um, that's a smaller pocket. I mean, that's that's literally all the deeper it goes. So, uh, 
Yeah, and it's got a handle here, and it's got a strap here. I imagine that's like its hanging strap. That's where you hang it up at. Um, but overall, pretty good backpack. I mean, it's and it's not even quite a backpack. It's more of like a little traveling bag. You know, maybe if you go on a hike or something, you know, you can put some water bottles, maybe a sandwich or something on in here. Or if you're going to like Comic Con or something, you know, carry some of the things you pick up. And again, probably a few bottles of water or something, because they seem to really want you to do that because I can't quite figure out what else these would be for other than like maybe to clip things like this on. I mean, maybe that's what those are for. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but again, I like it. It's a, It kind of goes with the whole military thing again that, you know, it's, it's nice. It's got a good design, but it's not like overdone. It's just a sort of black and gray style, real simple, but kind of urban look. Um, and it's it wouldn't be something to be over, over encumbering, because again, you couldn't really put a whole lot of heavy stuff in here. So I think you'd be good, even if you filled it up, unless you're filling it with like lead weights. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty good one. And uh, if you want to see inside the rest of the box, oh, that's cool. Um, it's also got a halo over here on the side. Um, there's nothing over on this side, but uh, down at the bottom, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's actually a Spartan and a Warthog down here. So uh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's kind of cool. Um, I'm wondering though if. Yes, yes it is. I can actually open this up all the way, and you guys can see it a lot better. So, their boxes always have really good artwork on the inside at least. Um, which actually, since I can unfold this, I can refold it and be a lot easier to store. Because I want to keep these boxes, you know, um, in case I were ever to like sell, resell a box or something, I'd want to sell it in this. Not that I'd want to sell them, but you know, just in case I ever want the box again for anything, I'd like to keep it. Um, I mean, you could even hang this up and it'd be a really good uh, sort of halo art piece. But yeah, this is, uh, this is actually a picture from a sand trap because you can see one of the uh, payloads coming up into the air getting ready to explode um, but yeah so that's it for this video um, I hope you guys liked it uh, feel free to like share and subscribe and uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to do some more uh, loot box unboxing unboxing videos in the future um, but uh, anyways once I get this folded up so there we go you can fold it up like that and it'll stay nice and neat for the most part um, I'm gonna set this on top of it so it doesn't unfold uh, anyways but I will see you guys in the next video so bye